now we request mr rao to kindly start dear dignitaries ladies and gentlemen everyone a very good afternoon so today i have come with a interesting subject on the light metro system which is best suited to the tier 2 cities of india in 1980s and 90s we have the first metro in calcutta and then in delhi we started with bg metro broad gauge metro so that is called heavy metro later on in delhi they have brought down to standard gauge which is 1435 mm wide so the same thing has been adopted in all the indian cities so far this system is suited this is called medium metro and suited for delhi mumbai and other corporate cities but we are adopting the same system to all cities smaller smaller cities today as i said metro is needed for many reasons for all cities where it is 20 lakhs and more population but again do you need that system which is in delhi and mumbai no we should have a system the government of india so they said let us go for metro light and metro neo metro light and metro neo there is a wide gap between the medium metro and metro light and to fill up that gap to fill up it we have come up with the light metro i'll be going to tell you what are the advantages value added advantages of light metro to our tier 2 cities where it is 30 lakh and so light metro system is a similar to the medium metro but a smaller and smarter system most suitable to the tier 2 cities it's not a new system there are 300 plus cities in the world which are adopted this light metro it is lrt lrt is on road and this is lrt on viaduct only the system difference is that one so this light metro system why don't we get it for us it's a very cost effective the cost will be 20 to 25 percent lesser than medium metro as i said it is recommended for cities where the population is 30 lakhs or this way that way so time is short so i am please anybody have questions we can ask at the end so let me run fast so this is the system we are adapting in vizag about 76.90 kilometers the entire city as our honorable minister sir said metro is not for 10 20 kilometers as you know the bus will go well for 40 to 50 kilometers if it is more than that we will go for rail if it is still more we go for flight so that way it will go so for metro also about 70 kilometers will be slowly it will come as viable metro is a rail based industry rail based system which is which age is 100 plus today is 160 years for indian railways it is going gala so it will go on so that's why we have to adapt this one to the cities where the population is growing up and up let's see we are 76.90 kilometers and it is four corridors the cost is 14309 crores that is 185 crores average per kilometer in the medium metro it is 250 crores per kilometer we are 185 crores per kilometer and then it caters in 2026 5 lakhs people per day and going to 12 lakhs in 2056 c 
after 30 years of time, the growth, growth we have studied in many cities, slowly it is growing it, and in that, if it goes to 12 lakhs people per day, traveling on metro also can be catered by the light metro. You need not go for medium metro or heavy metro. So the PHPDT is up to 7,000 per hour PHPDT you all be knowing per hour per direction it is the highest traffic. So that is 7,000 it will cater and uh, go slowly goes to 21,000. It caters to maximum capacity is 25,000 but for Vizag it is 21,000 only. If Vizag is 21,000, which is 30 lakhs people now with uh, the urban agglomeration where it covers is 41 lakhs. For the 41 lakhs, when it goes to uh, 21,000, not more than that in any city. So it's an elevated system, as I said, 72.40 kilometers. And again, from at Bogapuram, we have an international airport coming up. Very uh, wider uh, airport, there it's inside to the passenger lounge, it will go, it is four and a half kilometers, so that will be on road. So the standard gauge, as I told you, why standard gauge? The same system, the same system, if after 50 years, higher system you wanted, upgradation is required, then the base will be the same. Base will be the same and the rail set all will come, signaling will come here with a higher si system. That means you need not change anything, only anyway this rolling stock will be going for 35 years only. So the age is 35 years only. So again you have to replace it. So when you go for replacing, you can think of a higher system, huh? higher uh, metro cars. So up to that, you can run with these smaller systems. So you can see the power supply, the same third rail system. We are adapting third rail system, the latest system in all the uh, metros now. Why we are going for third metro? So why it is not OHE? OHE initially a bit less costlier, but the maintenance is very, very high. And one more important thing is, when the third rail which goes between the two lines, when the lever comes there from the metro car and it touches there and then there will be, there will be a power generation. If it goes, you will not get anything. If you touch the third rail also, you will not get any electrocuted. No problem. So, the energy goes there only when the train passes. In OHE, always 24 by 7, that transmission losses will be there. When the train goes, the tractive power is more, so more current it takes. But, even if there is no train, there will be a transmission loss will be there. So here the, it is an energy saver also, the third rail. Then comes to the rolling stock. Rolling stock, I said it is, uh, length is 18 meter. Uh, we are, this 21.65 is the uh, medium metro and the wide, wide is 2.65 mm. And for medium metro, it will be 2.9 or 3.1 also there. So the, it will be a bit wider. Height is the same. Height is the same for those two things. So here, due to this uh, uh, less uh, length, the negotiation, the curvature will be only 78, 75 meters. Whereas in the medium metro, it will be 125 meters. See in the cities, Tile two cities in India, which are old cities, there is not much possibility of curvature. Many houses will have to be destructed, destroyed. So here it will go with a low curvature. So this is possible to take it uh, this system rather than that system. And then it comes 
this is the two car system we go for uh, three car system in the medium metro here we will go two car three car add fourth car like that we will add on five six you can do that and the now we have put it duration is eight minutes every eight minutes one service will go that can be brought to two minutes when there is a more uh, supply more uh, more i mean more demand you can supply it by bringing down the duration so 6 minutes 5 minutes like that we can bring it the car capacity is 200 to 225 and the axle load is 12 tons so the other facilities like parking all important stations we have put parking and uh, the feeder services you see the success of metros the key success of metros is lying on the last mile connectivity there should be multi modal integration at the all important stations so that the passengers who is commuters who are taking the metro when they come they have to take one uh, Uh, vehicle to go to their colonies to 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 go to their workplaces you know if you come down if there are five autos the rate is one if there is one auto there is another rate so it depends on the uh, demand and supply so we have to the metro organizations must provide the last minute con con connectivity so friends before because we are late starters for metro so that has an advantage i have gone to 10 metros which are on ppp mode which are on uh, government model and all i have seen what are the disadvantages there are what are the problems they are facing all those things i have taken i have largely i have sorted out those things under rules so we have made a very very good system that works very well so then e cycle c rickshaws metro buses everything we are going to provide and the automatic fare collection that means either it is medium metro light metro we are providing all those facilities to the people who are commuting on this so at again for the management or the for the government it should be lesser cost you cannot charge telling that i have spent so much so my ticket rate is this you cannot tell we have to see the affordability we have to see the affordability of the people we have to see the other modes of public transportation at what rate they are taking you so all these things will come into when your fare fixation is made so these are the cost optimization i was just telling how we made it project land if in the medium metro it is x it is y in the light metro about 10% of less because the depots will be a smaller one and the stations will be small naturally there will be only one entry and exit point so that's why the uh, for the ground level, ground we need not equi uh, equation more um, land so that's how it it is coming 10% less and in the civil engineering structures because the axle load is from 16 tons to 12 tons naturally the uh, viaduct we can go for a lesser um, specifications so that way we have seen 15% we have already designing was done everything as per the civil engineering experts suggested so we have compared it is coming 15% less stations stations are because ours is a two car we have provided for four cars and some evacuation that much we have provided it comes to 80 meters whereas for medium metro it is 3 plus 3 plus evacuation uh, uh, space 
together it is coming to 140 meters. When it is 140 meters, you must do two entry exit points either side. That side to this side too. But for 80 meters, one side can be done. So that way, about 40% will be coming down. Concourse size, platform size, everything, roof, everything coming, uh, coming down. That way, there is a great saving in the stations. And then, you can ask me, when you go for metro, medium metro, after some time, what you will do? We are already foundation and all, we are doing it to suit this for the medium metro. We are keeping this, but the construction of the larger size will come only after 50 years, not now. So depots, as I told you, the number of coaches are less, so the number of stabling lines will be less. And also the area also about 30 crores per uh, depot will be suffice. Whereas 45 acres are minimum for medium metro, that way 30 percent is less. And rolling stock, as I said, the less number of stock we will take. So this is 30 percent here. So taking everything into account, the per kilometer rate comes to 250, 250 crores per kilometer for medium meter, uh, metro. Then for us, it is 185 kilo, uh, crores only per kilometer. Metro light and Metro Neo are further less. Both are less. You can ask me, then why you should not go for that? I am coming to that point. So these are the four systems. Naming it a Metro, four systems are there. And of course, Metro Light and Metro Neo, Government of India has suggested for the smaller cities to go, but still not yet come. In Uttarakhand, in other places, they are trying. At Tiruvannandapuram, Kerala, they are trying, but still it is in the planning stage only. In between, in between, Vaisag has come with the light metro, the first city in India to be the light metro, and I am going to tell you the advantages of light metro of our other systems. The first three are rail based. The first three are rail based. The last one is rubber based. Friends, I am not here to comment or say anything adverse against any system, but I wanted to push, push forward the best system as light metro because the rubber tire system, the wear and tear will be much faster, much higher, and the pollution levels will not come down much. It is a rubber based on road. It is trolley, trolley bus, we call it, because we have seen BRTS, ordinary bus, then BRTS bus, and then you have a larger bus. That comes as a trolley bus. So that is the Metro Neo with rubber tire and it covers everything and it goes on elevated road. So there is a problems of this maintenance and pollution you can't avoid. And about the train, it is about three cars in the Medium metro, I said metro, medium metro is Raja, but again the cost we have to see, how much we have to spend. This is a capital intensive projects. We have to put lot of crores of rupees. So, and again, when you go for ticketing, it should be 15 rupees, 20 rupees, 25 rupees. When you can make it crores of rupees. So, we have to uh, minimize the costs as much as possible and also giving the same facilities, same comforts to the public and to the environment. So the cars are, for the metro light it is a single vehicle, three or five car with two arc articulations, 
that's why single vehicle with one or two articulations is the metro neo so the number of people that can be taken will be very less that's what i am coming at in the next this thing the train length will be like this the train length will be higher high low lower all the four if you see you can see i need not again tell higher high low lower so the passengers loading is eight persons per square meter because it is a a wider wider one and longer one the people eight persons can be in uh, per square meter and uh, the other three are six persons per uh, per uh, square meter that is indian standards packed if it is in uk it is four maximum maximum is five not more than that the capacity we call it with this it is 970 per 3 car whereas two car is 400 and here vehicle or metro light is 300 percent it is it is more than our light metro but again i will tell the limitations and challenges of the metro light axle load is 16 12 12 12, 12. so capacity of metro light is higher but we have designed the metro light on roads metro light is nothing but a tram nothing but a tram on road it is a modern tram it is a catenary free or with catenary tram is a tram but again how many cities are having space for that uh, on road to take on road that's why it was it has been uh, uh, planned in the city outskirts to some other city it became a intercity but not in the inside the city you know the our indian cities particularly the, the tier 2 cities are very congested and crowded so it's not uh, easy it is not possible rather to have the on road so the civil structure again i have come elevated elevated and at grade the metro light is at grade so it is not possible so you switch over to light metro so signaling system signaling is same for medium metro and light metro the the latest communication based system whereas the other one is as per vehicle location or the line of sight so in the metro light when it goes on road there will be crossings there is very difficult to control the crossed uh, road vehicles and people and all so it's very difficult so here there is no, no right of way right of way is there though you can create but again there is a lot of um, junctions we, we have to create as per rules we have to create junction every 100 meters as per road rules so power supply okay about that uh, grade of automation is the latest is light metro of course medium metro also now the latest medium metro they are doing that it is driverless system these two have the other two cannot have either metro light or metro neo cannot have so headway is okay power supply so this is uh, the other things also i just wanted to please uh, go through it is like uh, coming to the uh, tirupati balaji hills we takes lot of troubles at come here wait here and when we see the uh, uh, lot balaji they will throw you go huh so like that so i have been given right, rightly they have given 15 minutes but i have taken more time so we, we can meet again and we can discuss it a lot i can talk one hour two hours up to your uh, patience on the light metro uh, because i breathe 
ఐ ఈట్ లైట్ మెట్రో థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్